Hello, thank you for joining me today. We're reading through A Course in Miracles, The Daily Lessons, and today we're going to be reading the focus lesson, What is the Holy Spirit? So we're in between lessons 280 and 281, and this is this focus lesson, What is the Holy Spirit? The Holy Spirit mediates between illusions and the truth. Since he must bridge the gap between reality and dreams, perception leads to knowledge through the grace that God has given him to be his gift to everyone who turns to him for truth. Across the bridge that he provides are dreams all carried to the truth to be dispelled before the light of knowledge. There are sights and sounds forever laid aside, and where they were perceived before, forgiveness has made possible perception's tranquil end. The goal the Holy Spirit's teaching sets is just this end of dreams. For sights and sounds must be translated from the witnesses of fear to those of love. And when this is entirely accomplished, learning has achieved the only goal it has in truth. For learning, as the Holy Spirit guides it to the outcome he perceives it for, becomes the means to go beyond itself to be replaced by the eternal truth. If you but knew how much your father yearns to have you recognize your sinlessness, you would not let his voice appeal in vain, nor turn away from his replacement for the fearful images and dreams you made. The Holy Spirit understands the means you made by which you would attain what is forever unattainable. And if you offer them to him, he will employ the means you made for exile to restore your mind to where it truly is at home. From knowledge, where he has been placed by God, the Holy Spirit calls to you to let forgiveness rest upon your dreams and be restored to sanity and peace of mind. Without forgiveness, will your dreams remain to terrify you, and the memory of all your father's love will not return to signify the end of, dream, the, of dreams as come. Accept your father's gift. It is a call from love to love that it be but itself. The Holy Spirit is his gift by which the quietness of heaven is restored to God's beloved son. Would you refuse to take the function of completing God when all he wills is that you be complete? It's a great lesson. So as you work with it today, the, I think the first line is really critical to, to hold. The Holy Spirit mediates between illusions and the truth. It's the bridge between them. So I hope you have a great day with this today, and we'll supplement this again with uh, Lesson 181 in just a minute. Um, that'll be available for you as well to go with this lesson. And then uh, the rest of the week will follow with additional lessons supporting this focus lesson here. If you need additional support, you can reach out to me, uh, message me through Facebook or through uh, SoundCloud, YouTube, or you can message me on our website, lindalamp.com or lindalamp.shop or text me at 907-351-3003. Thanks so much for joining me today, and I'll hope to see you tomorrow for the next lesson. Namaste and much love.